Shwabang insdang yaka kubor ni kerpat ipi kinongpe. Ban subscribe yaka nika channel, bat ban click yau notification bell, bapin yau kloy ki kubor naka jela. Kamagilai Trinamal Congress hapo kajingalam jong u Dr. Mukul Sangma menta kasingi ka arpuwe terik urumpang kelatihat ting e ik sorkar MDA halor bakal lab bakal don kiti sahaban tit jaka hama opedang haka jingilut kaba hadu shispa sopo kulur tingka bat day ban penlong daka jing tokkit halor kanik jingle jong kanik sorka haba keren ciki lat patai kubor Um, Dr. Mukul Sangma ulo ong baka sorkar MDA kaba ukhot sen da kamagilai deceitful alliance kelatih tu ek jaka kaba hek komba pras pa ahnyok eka hamau kanu kaba hap hakishnong mau pedang bakla penbiit ya kitra jaka baklatih komba sao pesan tingka 6 square feet bat kisiyo prap pesan tingka bala pen skem ya kani da ka kabinet haka sao teri oktober araja arpuwey Haka jinglam khamad u menteri pada kimi yang ketenat urban affairs. U Dr. Mukul Sangma ula ong syuk-syuk baka sorkar kimi ke deban tano da ke jing tok kit ke balat luat halor ki kambam sab ke sorkar MDA. Kumpa u Amit Syahi ula keren haka jinglang ke beladab baka sorkar megelaya ke day ke baha klik do ke babam sab tam. Na kaliang Dr. Mukul Sangma ula penken maru ya ki skam ki baka sorkar kelale ki bakan thop ya ka Shush bhaiya scam, smart meter scam, ka jing khilem u duom bat ki wei ki wei. At the rate of 45 rupees per square feet. For which the government ultimately paid to the middleman a very highly inflated rate of rupees 85 per square feet. Meaning, the government has embarked upon this model sovereignty to help their middleman Purchase the land, duping the landowners, innocent landowners, innocent villagers at a throwaway price of rupees 45 and made a payment of rupees 85 per square feet to their middlemen. If you look at the modus operandi of this government, one after another, everywhere they have engaged in all acts to rob the state, to satisfy their swelling greed at the cost of the state. In the instant case, if you look at the rate at which they have bought this land and decided to pay at an inflated price of rupees 85 was decided upon by the cabinet on the On the 4th of October 2021, this is the cabinet, uh, this is the letter by the Urban Affairs, Department of Urban Affairs, Government of Meghalaya, which has communicated the decision of the cabinet approving the purchase of land at the red at a highly inflated rate of 85 rupees per square feet for total of 807 acres of land. Now if you look at this decision, now you cannot particularly allege only one particular department. Now, the whole decision has been taken by the cabinet. You are well aware of the fact that there is, there are ministers who, as per the rules of executive business, have the honors of responsibility in approving various proposals of their respective departments, the respective portfolios allotted or allocated to the respective ministries. So, therefore, the minister in charge of urban affairs have piloted this program, this proposal, and appropriately approved by the Department of Revenue and Disaster Management and any cabinet decision that is to be considered in as far as the proposals of various departments are concerned 
the cabinet items are all approved by the chief minister. So therefore, the three persons, the chief minister, the revenue minister, and the minister in charge of the urban affairs department, have entered, if we go by all these inputs which is available before the public domain now, have entered into a criminal conspiracy to rob the state of such a huge amount of money, if you're looking at the difference, the difference comes to over 140 crores. Now these 140 crores could have been given to the land owners, the innocent land owners, the innocent villagers, who have inherited this beautiful land, who have preserved and protected this land. Now how is it possible for the coming of the day in a democracy which revolves around the spirit of, of the people, by the people, for the people. Everything that we do must be for the people, by the people who are elected. Therefore, we demand just <clears throat> on the day of addressing an election rally in Garvans, the Union Home Minister, Mr. Amit Saji, has gone hammer and tongs, alleging the state of being active in corruption, and have referred Meghalaya as the number one corruption state in the country. This is something which has defamed the name of the state, name of the state and its people. Corruption is not our way of life. Our people are not that greedy. Go by all records, never in the history of Meghalaya has this kind of alleged <coughs> irregularities and corruption of this scale has happened. And never has in the past did we see any instance of the state being tainted as the number one crop state? I want to urge upon the people of the state to see that you rescue the state from the hands of these people who have been responsible for this. infamous state of being the number one corrupt state in the country. It's a very infamous state. The moment we go outside the state, how will we identify ourselves? We will always say that yes, we are from Meghalaya. So people will be looking at us, oh, but these are the people from the most corrupt state. This is how we want to have our identity. It's very painful. The greed of the people have gone to such extent that they have even robbed the innocent villagers and our own innocent residents of the state. State has children. I would like to urge the Union Home Minister, who is still in Meghalaya engage in his campaign, election campaign, to take cognizance of this particular instance of corruption. The instance of alleged corruption. Let there be an immediate investigation. And let there be necessary process of law. We all understand that only when there is a fear for law, there is a self-regulation. Now, if people can engage in this kind of alleged corruption with impunity, then we also have to have doubts about the sincerity of those who are enforcing the law of the land. The honors of the responsibility lies with everyone. We have raised on a number of occasions, various other instances, this whole 
instance of repeated uh, corruption, whether it's the issue of the alleged corruption in Subhaikyas. The alleged dome collapse, then the smart meters scan, and now the Meghalaya land scan. People must come together and see that the people who are engaged in looting the state with complete impunity must be taken to task. It's a time when people should decide whether Meghalaya should still have this infamous take of being the corrupt state or want to free the state from this infamous take of being the number one corrupt state. It is definitely a matter of shame for every citizen and every resident of Meghalaya. It does not augur well for democracy because when we talk about democracy, yeah, when we talk about corruption in a democracy, for a layman, I think I will put it in a simple way. When the resources for the welfare of the state is robbed by the people who are vested with the power and responsibility of administering them to satisfy their swelling greed. That is what corruption is. When the siphon of the money, which is meant for the development of the state and for the welfare of the poor, for various other important social welfare initiat initiatives and how it impacts everybody's life. Corruption is the worst thing that can happen for a state, for a nation. We have seen across the world as to how corruption has ultimately crippled every nation which were engaged in corruption with impunity. Corruption at high levels. That's why I have said that corruption is more dangerous than robbery, more crippling and deadlier than terrorism. It does not affect only one individual. When corruption inflicts an injury into the fiscal health of the state, when the coffers go dry, it will derail the whole momentum of progress and prosperity. It will ultimately create a situation which you already see, like the district council, Garo Hills Autonomous District Council. It will be painful for all of us when we try to really analyze and understand. Even this small example that Garo's Autonomous District Council, which is established on the mandate of the Constitution, referenced the six years of the Constitution to protect, preserve our culture, our way of life. Today, this District Council is not able to pay salaries. So these very huge landscape is only reflective of what is going on, what has been going on. Do we want to allow this to go on? Those who love the state and those who are concerned for the future of the state must all come together and ensure that the state is read from the hands of these people. Kamikhalia TMC can one lam shapi a Kamikhalia Financial Inclusion for Women Empowerment Scheme. Hapo akanika scheme, unpin poi pisa, shi hajating kashi banai, kata, karar hajating kashi slap, shaki kinte, haman laki long ying, kumkala, chinkershan by banai. Hakaneka apunyo terekurum pang, shan yaka shap jumpi, haki artli kisin teo, but kershan yaka Mikhalia TMC.